we are going to discuss a very useful result about the limits. In, indeed, what we are going to discuss, if we have two convergent sequence, then if we have another new sequence, which is obtained by the sum of the nth terms of these two sequences, so what will be the limit of that new sequence, which we find out or determine by adding the nth terms of two sequences? Similarly, so on and so forth, addition, if you have constant se, constant real number, se aap multiply kar dete hai, each term of the sequence is the new sequence which is obtained by multiplying a fixed real number to each term of the sequence, then what will happen? The sequence will remain convergent or ye sub convergent sequence ki do ya do se zyada convergent sequence ho to unke sum difference division and the term ki division se jo new sequences ban rahe hain. We are going to discuss the convergence of these sequences and this is very important uh, result which we are going to discuss in today's module and we will apply uh, these results which we are going to discuss in the forthcoming modules. So a useful theorem of limits and of course I will give you the proof of that theorem. What is that theorem? That theorem states that as I told you earlier if you have a sequence Sn which is convergent and convergent to some number finite number S and another sequence Tn which is also convergent and converges to T where S and T are finite numbers then if C is any constant or any real number this new sequence jiska nth term jo hai wo An let's say mein deta hu C Sn Sn jo sequence hai uski har term ko humne C se jo ke real number hai usse multiply kar diya then the limit of that sequence new sequence equals c multiplied by the limit of the sequence s jo hai if c is a constant jo main pehle hi bata diya hai if we have a new sequence an which is obtained by the nth term sum of the nth terms of sn and tn sn plus tn this is the nth term of the new sequence this sequence then this new sequence will always be convergent and it will converge to the sum of the limits of the two sequences. Similarly, we have here difference. Here we should have minus. It will be S minus T and we have the product. An is the product of Sn and Tn. Then we have the this new sequence will always be convergent and the limit of that new sequence which is obtained by multiplying the nth terms of these two sequences which were convergent then the new sequence will be convergent and it will converge to the product of the limits of the sequence Sn and Tn. If T is not equals to 0 then division a n jo hai wo humne new sequence buna hai kis tarah construct kiya hai s n aur t n ki terms ko humne divide kiya hai of course we can't divide by 0 so there must be condition ke ye t n jo sequence hai ye iski koi bhi term 0 nahi hai aur furthermore ye jo limit hai t n ki jo limit hai t it must also be non zero so t n is non zero for all n and t not equals to zero then the limit of that that sequence new sequence which is obtained by division of the nth terms of the Sn and Tn it will converge and it will converge to S over T. Let's prove this one. Is ke proof mein main do cheezein jo hai wo proof karunga. Ek this one isko aur ek isko karunga. Iska bhi particular case discuss karunga. Yani ke isko mein discuss karunga limit n approaches to infinity 1 over t n ki convergence jo ke 1 over t mein sabit karunga isko ye mein proof karunga ab ye do mein proof karunga jab mein ye proof kar dunga to by using this one i can obtain this one easily jo ke division maine sequence obtain kiya by dividing the nth terms of sn and tn let's discuss this one so pehla sequence mein kya proof karne ja raha hu limit n approaches to infinity s and t and equals st. So, I have difference for all epsilon 
for epsilon greater than 0, I will discuss this one. Of course, S n t n minus S of t, is ki absolute value jo hai, wo mein discuss karunga. Ab mene kya kiya I have added and subtracted the same term. Okay. Phir mene t n common liya is mein se. T n common liya, I will have S n minus S, t n plus, is mein se S common, S common t n minus t. Now both these sequences, S n and t n are convergent. It means for every epsilon greater than 0, I must have S n minus S less than epsilon and there exists some n1, let's say number. Similarly for T n, T n minus T less than epsilon for same as epsilon but not the same number necessarily, I take n2. So these two inequalities are true by definition of the convergence of the sequences. Now I know that a convergent sequence of real numbers is bounded. It means Tn will be less than or equal to some m, some real number. I have proved that if a sequence of real number is convergent, it will be bounded hoga for all n. For all n, this will hold. So let's do see what I have done. I have used these two things. Hence, triangular inequality used, which we have proved for real numbers. Ke liye. That will give us this absolute value less than equal to this one. This one absolute value of S. S is a finite number. Hai, t n minus T. Now use, I have used the, the boundedness that the, if a convergent sequence of real number is bounded. So this number T n mod is replaced by a larger number which I have written here R. Next, I will use the definition of the convergent sequences, which I have explained you There exist for every epsilon greater than 0. There are integers n1 and n2 such that these two inequalities holds. In dono inequalities, ko main pe use karunga. So, if I take n, the maximum of these two numbers, then both of these convergence fully jo inequalities thi, wo dono satisfy hongi for that natural number. Uh, natural or integer number n. Then both inequalities hold and static, joke pichli inequality thi implies this one. Epsilon mein common kar sakta hon. It means that S n, the sequence whose nth term is S n t n is convergent and it is convergent to S t, that real number. Ye humne sabit karna tha. Now let's go to the other statement. Joke I have told you that I will consider a n s n over t n is a particular case and I have s n ko 1 if I have to a n what will become 1 over t n I will prove this convergence and I have proved that if I have convergent a n series I convergent sabit kar it then I have done it then I s n or 1 over t n which a n hai, in dono ka product jo hai, new series wo bhi convergent he hoga. So we consider the special case when s n equals 1 for all n and t not equals to 0. Of course division by 0 is not allowed. Thus we want to show that limit n approaches to 1 over t n is equals 1 over t. This is a thoda sa tricky part. Hai. First we observe that since limit n approaches to infinity t n equals t, yani ke is sequence ki limit t, jo ke 0 number nahi hai, there is an integer m, such that t n mod is greater than or equal to t by 2, if n is greater than or equal to m. Ye convergent sequence ki definition se, my pass, t n jo hai, wo mod greater than or equal to t by 2 hoga. We will be able to find out an integer. By definition, if we take epsilon equals ye number le lein, t divided by 2, there is an integer m such that t n minus t less than equals to that epsilon, ye convergent ki definition se hoga mare paas. Okay, now therefore I consider t n, the mod of the term t n, maine add or subtract kiya minus t se, minus t minus t add kiya or plus t jo hai wo bhi add kiya so that equality holds. Ab mein kya use kar raha hun? Maine ek real numbers ki properties, field ki properties se ye use kiya tha ke that absolute value is always greater than or equals to 
द कंप्लीट एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस टी जो कि ए के साथ मैंने लिखा था और दिस एज अ बी माइनस दिस वन ये ड्यू टू माइनस वन ये ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू है ठीक है अब यहां पे ये माइनस टर्म हो रही है दिस टर्म टी एन माइनस टी अब इस इनक्वालिटी को आप जरा कंसिडर करें अब अगर मैं इसको माइनस से मल्टीप्लाई कर दू माइनस टी एन माइनस टी विल बी ग्रेटर देन माइनस टी मॉड डिवाइडेड बाय टू इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि मैं अगर इस पूरी जो कि माइनस हो रही है इसको इससे रिप्लेस करूं तो दिस एक्सप्रेशन विल बी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू टी मॉड माइनस टी मॉड डिवाइडेड बाय टू एंड कंप्लीट मॉड फंक्शन अब टी मॉड माइनस टी मॉड डिवाइडेड बाय टू दैट विल रिजल्ट आउट इन टू टी मॉड डिवाइडेड बाय टू इफ एन इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू एम सो वी हैव ऑल द इंग्रेडिएंट्स नीडेड टू प्रूव दैट द सीक्वेंस वन ओवर टी एन कन्वर्जेस टू वन ओवर टी सो नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू टेक एप्सिलॉन ग्रेटर देन जीरो एनी आर्बिट्री फंक्शन वी आर गोइंग टू चूज एन नॉट so that t n minus t mod less than epsilon and this is true for the convergence of the sequence t n and let n be the maximum number of n not and m or m yaad rakhiyega humne pichli slide mein define kiya hua hai then i consider this absolute value of 1 over t n minus 1 over t isko maine less than epsilon jo hai ye show karna hai if n is greater than n अब मैं एलसीएम लेता हूं वन ओवर टी एन माइनस वन ओवर टी का दैट विल बी टी एन टी और टी माइनस टी एन एप्सोलूट वैल्यू है एप्सोलूट वैल्यू मैं इसको अलग अलग कर सकता हूं टी माइनस टी एन एप्सोलूट वैल्यू एंड ऑफ कोर्स टी एन एंड टी एप्सोलूट वैल्यू जो कि यहां पे आपके पास लिखा हुआ है नाउ द इनग्रीडियंट्स विच आई हैव क्रिएटेड और डन इन द प्रीवियस स्लाइड उन सबको मैं यूज करूंगा देखे मैंने टी एन मॉड की वैल्यू भी ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू लगाई थी उसको उसका रेसी प्रोकर लूंगा ये टी माइनस टी एन लिखा हो या टी एन माइनस टी मॉड लिखा हो इसको भी एप्सिलॉन यूज ये वाला करूंगा उन सबको यूज करके आई रीच आउट दिस वन सो आई कैन चूज एप्सिलॉन एंड आई कैन शो दैट द सीक्वेंस वन ओवर टी एन जो के सीक्वेंस है ए एन इक्वल ये अगर मैं कंसिडर करूं इसकी टर्म्स वन ओवर टी जो के नंबर है रियल नंबर है इसके क्लोज होती जाती है फॉर आर्बिट्री एप्सिलॉन ग्रेटर देन जीरो इफ वी हैव एन ग्रेटर देन कैपिटल एन जो के हमने मैक्सिमम ऑफ दिस वन रखा हुआ है सो वी हैव प्रूव दैट द सीक्वेंस वन ओवर टी एन कन्वर्जेस टू वन ओवर टी सो इन डीड वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट के सीक्वेंस ए एन जो के एस एन ओवर टी एन था इट कन्वर्जेस टू एस ओवर टी हमने अभी साबित किया है कि अगर इफ वी हैव टू सीक्वेंसेज एस एन एंड टी एन बोथ आर कन्वर्जेंट टू एस एन टी देन द न्यू सीक्वेंस विच इज ऑप्टेन बाय टेकिंग द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द टर्म्स ऑफ दीज टू कन्वर्जेंट सीक्वेंसेज द न्यू सीक्वेंस इज कन्वर्जेंट टू एस मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टी तो अभी जो हमने साबित किया है कि वन ओवर टी एन कन्वर्जिस टू वन ओवर टी तो हमने जो पिछला प्रूफ किया है कि एस एन और वन ओवर टी एन बोथ दीज आर कन्वर्जेंट एज दिस इज इक्वल टू एन ओवर टी एन एंड इट कन्वर्जिस टू एस ओवर टी तो ये हमने इजीली प्रूफ कर दिया है अब आपका ये काम है कि जो पहले सम वाली न्यू सिक्वेंस डिफाइंड बाई टेकिंग द सम्स उसका मैंने प्रूफ नहीं किया You have to do it yourself. जो tough parts थे दोनों वो मैंने कर दिए हैं जो simpler है कि sum और difference वाला और constant से multiply करके we define the new sequences. You can prove it yourself.